Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Hello, welcome to this lecture. Now we will discuss event tree analysis. So, the contents of today's presentation, introduction, key terms, steps, quantification and example. You can go through the book probabilistic risk assessment and management by engineers, it is Kumamutu and Henley. So, let us see the uh, some historical issues that the inventory name was first introduced during the was 14000 report produced in 1975 for the nuclear regulatory commission, this is basically the reactor safety study. And it is basically the uh, was 14000 the nuclear power plant safety study and was 14000 team needed an alternate method to fault tree analysis due to fault trees being too large. Obviously, you have seen already that for the simple gas oven in a kitchen the fault tree is we have developed and you have seen that the fault tree because of why why nature it, it, it can become a very big one if you consider large system or even if medium large system also what will happen fault tree that decomposition up to the component level it will become so cumbersome. So, then it could be uh, also as fault tree use reductive approach. So, it is very, very it will be very difficult to handle. So, people searched for that alternatives that can there be some alternative which will which may do the similar thing, but uh, in uh, uses uh, some kind of approach like inductive approach. So, that inventory is that inductive approach and it is basically a binary form of decision tree when you start with a event and then ask what will happen next given, given a system configuration. Then if the system configuration successful something will happen if it is failed then something else will happen by system configuration I do, I do mean that that means, given an event occurs, the there, there may be one uh, sub co one component or subsystem which will ultimately uh, ultimately uh, what I can say response to that state. So that response can be a successful response, can be a failed response. So as a result, there is binary form that fail or failure or success, and you go go forward in that manner at every if the first uh, first uh, uh, that means configuration or first layer fails then what is the second con second item or second subsystem which will act depending on the first one fails so then there also failure and success will take place and eventually you will have a you will have a uh, have a tree tree like structure suppose in the kitchen there is leakage of gas. So, then there must be detection system. So, detection system may be successful or failure and again if detection system is successful then what will happen the immediately that means the uh, some actions will be taken and that other actions will become successful or failure and in this manner it will continue. So, finally, at the end you will find out lot of branches and this branching at the end you will get lot of states these are known as accident states with reference to uh, event analysis and with reference to 
safety studies. If it is not safety studies, some other kind of study there also you can use, uh, you can use ex, uh, this branching and end states will be called the scenarios. It is a forward such method start with events that can affect the system and track them forward to determine the possible consequences. You see the difference between fault tree and event tree. In fault tree given a top event we try to find out the causes and then we dig down using deductive approach and we have gone up to the bottom level causes that is the basic events. And event tree we are not going to that we, what we are happening what we are doing if something goes wrong in a system what is next that means the consequence of that going wrong. So, that is the difference. So, fault tree top level mishap and you dig down and event tree if that suppose if that mishap happen how system will behave and what will happen next. So, consequence side is usually uh, usually uh, taken care of by event tree and causes side is usually taken care of by fault tree. Now, if someone not use the top level may be at the some bottom level failures they will start from here then also from here also similar branching is possible means event tree can do the work of fault tree also. Okay. So, that is why it is an alternative approach it is developed. Let us see one example first fire this is top event. Now, let us we want to explore if fire will occur uh, fire what way the system will be behaving against the fire there will be sprinkler system then sprinkler system may be successful may be failed if sprinkler system is successful that time what will happen you can you can call the fire department also depending on the quantum of fire and they will come and they become may be successful and then outcome is okay means may be minimal damage. If, if sprinkler system or fire demand does not come then there will be partial damage because of sprinkler system works. If sprinkler system fails fire department successful then what will happen it may be partial damage and if it fails and this also fails system will be destroyed. So, what does it mean means there is an initiating event fire what is the need of considering fire as initiating event there is no need you can go back and also see some other things that may be the fire uh, initiating event. For example, I can replace this by tank rupture if tank rupture takes place how the system will behave that will be the system behavior will be will be branched branched using binary class success failure success failure you will get the end outcomes. Someone may say I will not start with tank rupture at the top event may be some structure over pressure when over pressure is there then this tank rupture will be uh, will be the tank will be behave against over pressure. So, here will be tank will be coming and then after tank if tank rupture will be there or not failure means rupture not means the not means there is no failure if rupture then again it will continue. So, like this. So, essentially what happening here you are basically using some inductive approach in the case of uh, leakage what is there you see leak occurs. So, if there is leakage there must be detection this is the first level behavior. So, is there automatic detection suppose yes or no yes means success no mean failure if automatic detection fails is there possibility of manual detection that can be no or yes it fails if manual detection fails 
then no situation awareness is also not there then action will not be taken there will be no situation awareness action will not be taken then lot of harm will be there suppose leak occur manual detection automatic detection successful then manual detection here is not required so automatic detection then situation awareness so you are aware of the situation what will happen if yes then what will happen fine but you are aware of the situation the leakage can cause harm but whether action taken if yes there is no harm so that mean what happen there will be situ there will be different end state from no harm to harm and this is what is basically branched here so start with a particular event which is known as initiating event which is leak and then what happened in order to because the system wants the equilibrium so what system will do system will behave if leakage is a disturbance it's a deviation so system wants to fight against it so if positively fight then it will be lead to no harm case if fail the it will go to harm state so that means the system level different different measures like this automatic detection awareness actions they may fail they may be successful depending on which one is successful at what time and the severity of the of the means the end accident states will be like this so this initiating event and the accident scenario the last one the outcome in between whatever x whatever events occur they are basically known as pivotal events so initiating events and these are pv means pivotal events so initiating events start the situation or lead to, that will lead to final accident states and pivotal event fought against this initiating event and it may be successful may be failure and depending on the con that success or failure and their combination different end scenarios will be generated and the event tree is used to find out this path up to end state so some terminologies one is initiating event failure or undesired event that initiate the start of an accident sequence what are pivotal events intermediate mediary events between the ie and the final mishap that is the final outcome these are failure or success of events of the protection configuration established to prevent the initiating event from resulting into mishap you can very easily relate this to my hazard triangle where what i have said there will be some initiating event and after that there will be lot of mechanisms hazard element will be there there will be starting point lot of initiative mechanisms in between mechanisms these are all pivotal events so that will take place and finally the chain will be or the all the failures all the holes will be lined up final mishap will take place so inventory is a technique that gives you uh, gives you those paths okay and accident scenario is another one series of events that ultimately result in an accident so actually uh, actually this is accident scenario is the is the basically in uh, that the end state end state so it is not series of events this sense it is end states what happen whether it will be safe it will be unsafe or it will be partially damaged something like this those end states are accident scenarios okay now let us see this this example will explain in so you know all those things i will not explain it further what is it so now let us see a initiating event is leakage of gas what are the pvs manual detection situation awareness and actions taken this is what is the system given 
there is no automatic detection. What are the accident scenarios? There can be fire, there can be small release, there can be safe release. So, how do you find that these are the accident scenarios? We have huge inventory and depending on and we know if the pivotal events occur that means the manual detection fails, situation awareness fails, action taken fails and as you have the have the hazard knowledge, design knowledge and lessons learned already. So, you will be able to find out under which path fire will occur, under which path safe release, under which path small release will be there. This is a and this is a simple example, but the, the concept and philosophy holds for even complex example. You see leakage of gas, manual detection success, manual detection fails. If manual detection fails, these things will not happen. So, as a result it is a fire situation. Leakage obviously, there will be there will be fire source. So, ignition source. So, then leakage of gas, manual detection successful, but the, the cook there he does not know what is happening, he is not aware. So, failure lead to fire. Then if this is success, action may be taken, may not be taken. If access successful, safe, there is no fire. If action is failed, then small released of, of gas will be there. Means some actions are taken, fire is mitigated, but release of gas is al already there. Or maybe some other scenario, some other scenario. You may say, okay, this will lead to fire also. The job, your job is here to understand given an initiating event, how the protection configuration of the system work. Means protection configuration is not a only a single layer or single barrier it will be multiple barrier may be in sequence one after another. And then first barrier, if first barrier fails, this is barrier 1, first barrier fail, what will happen? You must have the system knowledge, that knowledge. If first barrier is successful, then the second barrier may fail. If second barrier is successful, third barrier may fail, may be all, all that, that branching will take place. So, a lot of branching will be there. So, now here what mean leakage of gas then failure I said directly fail fire, but even if manual detection failure case there can be another kind another branching possible if your system configuration is such that there are, more, uh, there are certain uh, responses which lead to another kind of branching. Okay. So, you start with first branching, second branching it will be multiple branches, but usually under failure case uh, the branching is not done because it is obvious that if the first level fails, maybe the second level and onwards they may not may, and may not be successful. Okay, okay. But please remember, this is this is the concept only. Whether you end this, and this here you don't do branching, or you go for branching again, you 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 work uh, brainstorm with the team and find out. But this is what is the procedure. Now, you have seen that that okay, I have I have this many accident scenarios. So, for the time being let us consider this this is correct. So, there will be safe real safe real there will be some small release safety means almost negligible release there is nothing will happen small rele release. So, what happened? you uh, uh, that people will be out and then the uh, that place will be slowly um, slowly that gas will be uh, evaporated or gas will be dispersed and otherwise there will be fire. So, three things 1, 2, 3 with this example we I want to show you the quantification. Okay. What is the quantification here? You see there is one initiating event then pivotal event 1 pivotal event 2, pivotal event 3, then accident scenarios like this. Now, if this event occurred, then this one start. Now, if the success and failure of these depend on this, then that is conditional. 
but irrespective of what happened when it it ultimately start working then what happened then they will be independent its success and failures doesn't depend on the amount of gas released leaked if small gas manual, manual detection is not successful only for large amount of gas leaked it is successful then it is depend on the amount of gas air then that is basically a conditional event so but other way given this situation ultimately this will work this will will be able to to make it or find it out and then it is independent for example manual detection that mean leakage is there then the situation awareness that mean what action to be taken or what not what action to be taken only what will happen that is the situation awareness if that is dependent only on manual detection then that is conditional otherwise what happen we know that if there is gas leakage obviously it leads to fire on that awareness is there we have to take action then irrespective of the previous issues or previous barriers uh, success or failure it will ultimately work independently then they are independent events so that means there will be accordingly there will be conditional probability and independent probability so i will discuss this conditional and independent probability first then we will come back to this example again so what is conditional probability conditional probability of the occurrence of event e2 given that even e1 already occurred is this what is this p e given e2 given e1 what does it mean probability that event e2 will occur given that even e1 has already occurred then this is probability of e1 and e2 both occur that is joint probability divided by probability of event u1 so this is the formula we use to define quant conditional probability what is this this is conditional this is marginal probability independent of e2 and all those things and this is the joint probability that mean both u1 and e2 will occur so conditional probability is equal to joint probability divided by the marginal probability and with reference to what the conditions given or you can you can write this in this form that means the joint probability is conditional probability times the marginal probability okay so what is conditional probability conditional probability that probability of occurring some event given that other event has already occurred for example you are you are going out rain has started you can use the rain or not use the uh, you can use an umbrella or not use it depends on the amount of rain if it is small drizzling then you may not use so that mean use of umbrella depends on the rain okay similar many example you can create you create example with respect reference to the your system with reference to safety studies now it is basically two event now there may be series of events so what will happen to this equation when there are n events when there are n events event e1 to e n and then what will happen we want to know the joint probability that all the event will occur then you required to know the conditional probability how probability of e1 intersection e2 intersection e3 like intersection e n this can be written by probability of e n given that other events such joint events had occur into probability of e n minus 1 this into probability of e n minus 1 given e n minus 
intersection e n minus 3 intersection like this up to e 1. And then e n minus 2 and this manner when reducing n finally, e 3 given e 2 intersection e 1 then e 2 given e 1 e 1 and this is the formula for finding out the joint probability of events and you know the conditional probability or the other way if you know the joint probability then the conditional probability can be computed but this branching is done this is basically uh, from two event to n event that is what is conditional uh, joint probability and conditional probability relation. Now, what will happen when the events are independent? If events are independent, then I can write that P E 2 given E 1 is nothing but P E 2, because whether E 1 occur or does not occur, it does not matter E 2 will occur, E 2 will does not matter mean it does not contribute to E 2 event to occur. So, probability will be like this and that is what this one we have written like this purity of E n conditional all the other joint uh, that E n minus 1 to 1 that joint this joint probability that is immaterial. So, we will write P E n P E n minus 1 P E 3 P E 2 P E 1. So, when you develop the event tree you must know that whether the the that pivotal events they are independent or conditional and accordingly find out the probability and then find out the probability of the accident scenarios. Let us see this one. Suppose <coughs> event leakage of gas is E, success and failure. Suppose failure is E 1 here, success will be E 1 bar. Why E 1 bar? Because E 1 bar equal to 1 minus E 1, because this is the binary case either it will be successful or it will be failure. So, event E 1 bar means 1 minus E 1. So, in that way manual detection failure here, then here e 1 bar given e here also e 1 given e. Why we are given e line? We are saying that leakage is there. Now, in, in that case what will happen? The second case leakage manual detection e 1 bar e here e 2 given e 1 bar e and like this. So, you are considering this and this and this and accordingly what happened? This side the condition given condition is increasing means leakage occurred manual detection is successful situation awareness is successful in this case and then accent take and e this one e 2 situation awareness successful e, e 1 bar manual detection successful and e leakage occurs. So, that is that is that is what is the conditional event ok. Now, if if we see that that uh, ultimately they are independent particularly the pivotal events leakage must occur then only this will be activated. But the activation is not dependent on the amount of leakage then it is similarly situation awareness should not be uh, should know the probability should not be dependent on this. So, if this this case occur then what will happen all those things will be written as e 1 bar e 2 bar e 3 bar e 3 e 2 e 1 like this because they are independent. So, the conditional the given part will not be written. Now, actually what happened if you if you design system like this when the protection configuration they work independently that is a better system because that is the independent system and you must uh, try to do this independent uh, that uh, system or independent design is the best design and uh, dependent one is the coupling one coupling design is uh, problematic one. So, suppose for the time being we assume this independent then what is the probability of 
safe situation. What is the probability of a uh, small release? What is the probability of low impact fire? What is the probability of high impact fire? In earlier case, you have seen that I have given both cases fire, but considering the situation like your situation ENS is successful, so it will be low impact fire, not maybe high impact fire. So, that demarcation we have made, and you, you have to do like this. So, then what happened? You see, safe probability of leakage occur then E 1 bar, E 2 bar, E 3 bar. You see what is E 1 bar? E 1 manual detection successful, situation awareness successful, action taken successful. Probability of this probability of P E here is the probability that one is P E 1 bar, this is P E 1. So, that I mean this into this is high impact fire, this P E into this into P E 2 bar into P E 3 bar, this multiply by this multiply by this multiply by this will be the safe, safe situation. So, like this. Okay. So, in this manner if you compute what you are getting now, So, safety part, safe situation this is the probability, small release this is the probability, but fire case there are two situation low and high impact both we are combining in fire otherwise if you write low impact fire high impact fire two probability separately, but in fire case one and two because there are two branches where end result is fire. So, that means the probability of fire is this, probability small release is this, probability of safe situation is this. Now, I have given you the value leakage of gas 1 per year, success 90 percent, failure 10 percent like this. So, multiply this into this into this into this that means, 80.19 percent time it will be it will be a safe situation. And then small release is what? 1 multiplied by this, multiplied by this, multiplied by this, this is 0.81. Then low impact power is 1 multiplied by 0 0.90, 0 0.1, mean this one, this one is 1 multiplied by 0 0.90, multiplied by 0 0.10. So, this is basically 0 0.09, 0 0.09, which is we say 9 percent, 1.01. So, this is 10 percent and this one is 81 percent 0.81 percent because this multiplied by this multiplied by this and this one is in the maximum safe situation it should be. Okay. So, now you just see the calculation if there is any uh, any uh, that computational mistake correct it accordingly. So, now what happened once you have the end scenarios here safe situation, high impact fire, low impact fire and and this is basically small release. Then these are the these are the accident scenarios and this side is likelihood likely hood. This is accident scenarios. Okay. So, what will happen then? Then the probability of safe is this, this plot is known as this is a plot of likelihood versus vis a vis accident scenarios, this is known as risk profile. So, event tree gives you risk profile. Okay. So, let us see <coughs> now what happened we have come uh, we uh, you, now you know the event tree you have already seen the fault tree I will give another example where both event tree and fault tree is combined. Suppose our situation is scaffolding fall from ladder and we want to develop a fault tree and event tree and risk. So, let us see that what we are doing here. I hope that you all will appreciate this fall from ladder 
what are the reason this is or gate imbalance of human inadequate ladder strength inability instability of ladder any one lead to fall from ladder then when imbalance of human then this wrong posture excess load carrying climbing with excess jerk this may be the reason with or gate similar inadequate ladder strength improper ladder selection strength is not good and may be strength reduced due to wear and tear instability of the ladder here it is and gate loss of frictional coefficient loss loss less contact area will lead to this and in this manner ultimately you are getting so let us now think that we know the probability of this then this will be circle this will be circle this will be circle this will be circle 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 and here this will be circle this is another circle and this is another circle so what happened we have written in the box because we don't know the probability maybe it may require that why unclean floor further breaking down is possible but if it, if that is not possible then you, and also uh, you know the probability of unclean floor probability of wrong posture then they will become basic events and you have seen in fall tree that basic event and this is ladle is top event here this is our fall tree now we will use event tree to see that when fall fall what will happen if fall from ladder happen fall from ladder happen then from which height is important if it is high or low contact surface where fall hard or soft hard or soft then affected body parts head body limb head body limb so what happen you just see you are getting different situation another one will be this another will be this so how many how many end state there are different end states are there here head injury body injury limb injury head body limb head body limb head body limb three different three different situation in in status from injury point of view so impact will be high low medium high low medium something something like this now if you know, you want to compute the probability of fall from ladder then what you do you will you will know if you know the probability here you will know that this one use mokas algorithm get this probability so that mean fall from ladder is initiating is initiating event for event tree so and you know height and low and fall from ladder from which height it will fall and that sense here also probability you will calculate but okay all the time probability is may not be a important one may be the only the relative frequency will work or you may not be interested to go for probability uh, finding probability and calculation of the uh, that probability of that end state but it is qualitatively it can be used and that is also very important because that will give you the accident path and and every path you will see where which barrier fails and accordingly you take the action okay so what will happen then if you combine the two this then here is the fall tree so this fall tree which fall tree this one this fall tree are baba this one so this one and here we have used event tree we have used event tree so different paths you have seen already now question is whether you will go for for both fault tree and event tree or not it is better go for both fault tree and event tree instead of only one fault tree or event tree the reason is if i uh, say that high 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 impact is my end state then all those things here here everything all the states it will come under fault tree so you will start from here then gates will be appearing again if you think that the oil spillage is the starting point then if oil spillage what will ha happen next then you will get another kind of event tree okay but but it is better you you find out the middle path 
like maybe fall from ladder is the is the event which immediately comes into notice then for that you just go for the develop the fault tree to find out the why that event will occur and if that event occur what will have happen next then use through event tree then fault tree and event tree combine this will give you the total status what will happen okay if you want to prevent for fall from ladder then definitely this fault tree will help you you find out you have all the paths you develop cut set and you, you prevent all the cut sets to occur by engineering and administrative control if you if you want then want that okay this accident effect to be minimized or consequence to be minimized then you look into this event tree and all the paths and which which of the pivotal events are occurring and with what probability and which path all the paths leading to the uh, accident situations bad scenarios to be to be arrested and prevention or risk barriers can be developed accordingly i hope that you got sufficient material related to fault tree related to event tree and with examples and you will be able to develop fault tree and event tree for your system where you are working or 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 for the fresh students you follow the book by kumamoto and hanley and or any other book of your uh, department uh, where the safety related examples are there and i am sure you will you will be having a very good time definitely you will enjoy the entire exercise thank you very much thanks a lot